Hey guys, Fred here with Lightspeed Construction. Um, doing a roof inspection here in Weaverville. Homeowner's going to be putting some uh, solar panels on the roof in the not too distant future. She just wants to know if, you know, if there's a decent amount of life left on the uh, on these shingles, <clears throat> these shingles on this roof. So um, I'm just going to flip the camera around and kind of show you what I found so far. Um, First of all, the shingles themselves, they actually look pretty good. I would say they're probably eight to 10 years old, so they probably have about eight to 10 years left on them. Um, there's a little bit of algae staining on the back. You can kind of see where it's darker over here, but that's not that big of an issue. Uh, the only real issue I see is that it is, it's got one, let's see, one, two, looks like three layers. Two or, man, is that two or three? No, it's just two. It's two layers and two starter, two starter rows. Um, so it's two layers, which two layers of shingles. The bad part about that is that they can get um, basically superheated during the, the hot times of the month, which will kind of um, reduce the life of the shingle on top because this roof takes a lot longer to cool off. Um, and it gets much, much hotter with that big, thick, you know, two layers of asphalt. Um, once it gets hot, it stays hot, and it gets very, very hot. Uh, the next thing is that all the all these vents on the back, whether they're plumbing vents, um, a bathroom vent, and then these three whirlybirds, every one of them is installed incorrectly. Uh, the flashing, you should see the flashing coming out either down here or coming out right here. So it should be underneath this shingle and all the ones above it, but this right here, you should see the flashing sticking out right here. That way it acts like a shingle. That's why they've got basically... Um, caulk or some type of um, roof cement right here all the way around it because if they didn't it would definitely leak and this is actually starting to let me zoom in a little bit it's starting to crack you can kind of see it separating so that will start leaking pretty soon along with these other ones as well um, see this this is the same basically in the same boat right here um, you can start to see right here where it's cracking breaking apart um, and yeah you should be able to see that flashing sticking out the bottom with there um, same thing with the plumbing boot. Uh, it's the only plumbing boot I see on the house. Um, it's underneath all of these shingles. Um, like I said, same thing here. They got all this, uh, let me zoom back out a little bit. There we go. That's why they got all this, uh, roofing cement on here. Um, same with this little, it's either a, a, a hood vent or, a, um, a bathroom vent. That whirly bird's exactly the same. And then she's got a couple, which look like old satellite dish mounts right here. Um, these could probably come off. I mean, you see, this isn't really even attached to anything and see it's kind of come up you know, it's detached obviously they still let it, left a lot of the hardware up here um just kind of sitting on that uh, big issue is, is this <laughs> this chimney um the top is starting to crack they've uh, somebody's already caulked some of it but the top could really use a good um elastomeric coating on it some rubber um, somebody's coated the entire chimney in uh, that's what this black stuff is is roofing cement and then what they've done here I've never seen before I'm not sure why they put these shingles up here upside down they're really not doing a whole lot um, you can see water can go right underneath that and then right underneath all this this chimney really needs to be uh, flashed put counter flashing all the way around the chimney that's the only thing that's going to keep water out um, the fact that they have probably three inches of this uh roofing cement is going to be a big pain because uh, that's got to come off so basically all this has to be removed all the all the cement, roofing cement around it all the shingles probably to right about here need to come off um and then the same thing below it and on the sides it needs to be fly you know it needs to put uh ice and water around the chimney and then put new synthetic down and then put new shingles down and then flash the chimney correctly with uh, primary flashing at the top primary flashing at the bottom step flashing on the sides and then counter flashing all the way around it um, but for the for the um, for the most part the roof is not in that bad of shape it's actually this you know there's not a lot of granule loss the shingles look like they're 8 to 10 years old so I would say you know they might get 12 more years out of it 10 to 12 something like that all right guys thanks for watching